Got our oil leak. We're dressing. I got some check engine light codes. I'm gonna pull up. Let's see if you can see down there. The bottom down there is fluid. Uh, where what fluid is coming from? Where the fluid's coming from? It's coming from the front here. You look all the way in the corner back there. I'm gonna take this this cover off. It's leaking transmission fluid. Also, what's happening? The check engine lights on for incorrect gear ratio. Uh, there's a transmission overheating. Um, trans there's some other transmission malfunction codes. I'll pull that up. So we'll say fifth gear incorrect gear ratio. Uh, clutch temp threshold. Let's see here. Clutch temp threshold, skip shift, downshift, inhibit. Um, TCM monitoring process, processor performance, multiple clutches lock up, transmission inhibit remote start. So every, I mean, everything is uh, re revolving around insufficient flow of coolant. And especially that first code I was looking at, uh, the incorrect gear ratio. Being that this is obvious to uh, this uh, this is going to be the first thing we're going to address is the loss of coolant. It's like like VTEC systems on Hondas. You know, you you have a random multiple misfire, which is a follow code, and you have a primary code of like a VTEC issue. Uh, so you know, like lack of oil. Without oil in the transmission, you're going to have uh, one primary code and a follow up of other faults, and uh, then being that this is obvious, the clutch can't engage, the transmission can't achieve normal operation as a result of uh, insufficient uh, level of, of, uh, of, 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 of uh, what do you call that stuff? Transmission fluid. So let me pull this cover off. I'm going to dig a tray up. It's... Uh oh. Organize, ain't got snow. Got a special pair of pliers for this one. These are all pretty visible. So Do the same for the other side and let the uh, bumper cover hang over. I'm going to try to do that without breaking anything. Whatever is in my way, I'm going to pull off. So we'll see what happens. Everything's relaxed. With all that, it looks like transmission fluid to me. Uh, this is my first time doing this job. Uh, so I'm gonna... Oh shit, bear with me.
I'm not sure which ones, because, okay, I will say the, um, the condenser is integrated with this assembly here. And the AC works perfectly fine, so I'm not going to say it's, you know, it's the AC that's leaking. I mean, it's obvious. I mean, this fluid is really heavy. Freon doesn't leak out in this fashion and leave such an oily residue. So... Air So here's my transmission oil cooler. Here's the uh, seemingly, seemingly be the uh, um, vapor side of the AC. There's the high liquid side down at the bottom. Uh, Caught it. Oh yeah, there we go. So these are pretty accessible. Labor time on this is an hour, 1.3 hours, and within 10 minutes, I already got the front bumper cover off. Alright, I'm going to evacuate the system oh, shoot. and get my lines off and we'll pull the radiator out. So I got my new parts in. I uh, got it from O'Reilly. So here's my new condenser slash transmission cooler. So it comes with the new receiver dryer there and uh, we'll see if it has any should come with new o-rings if not then i'll replace them i should be able to take those off and swap them out but i, I want to add for those 300 users this has electronic power steering assist so your steering module is going to be right here under on the passenger side under the wiper fluid here the cap i took the cap off already but you can see that yellow looking reservoir uh took the cap off I'm going to use this time wisely to top the fluid off because this also has like a grinding when you turn the wheel and the fluid is real lost. I set my finger all the way down here and I didn't feel anything. The cap doesn't even have like a, unless it's doubling as a, a, a leveler, but it doesn't, uh -oh. uh, unless this is like the level indication here. Let us see. Use elect hyd hydro MS blah 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 power steering fluid. I gotta see if uh, O'Reilly's carried it. I'm gonna see what kind of fluid that is. If it's just a, if it's anything special, um, I can't imagine it being anything different, but we'll, we'll see. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to go ahead and top that fluid off because it's, it's low, it doesn't have anything really in it, and it grinds when it turns, so that'll help with her noise, especially how it's so hard to access. I got some uh, fluid on the way for the power steering. There was like thirty dollars per like, what was it? Was it a liter? Almost a quarter, something like that. It was something crazy. But anyway, um, I'm just looking more at this, and I think the car probably might have been an accident. And I assume it because these this is not lined up, and I don't think it's supposed to go that way. Uh, but I, I don't see any frame damage or anything. But uh, let's work on getting those bolts out. I'm gonna get a pick to get those. This one should be a 13. Shit, I was wrong. 14. No. Oh, all right. Oh, that was a little loose, also. Let it get the remainder of the air out. Pressure this in there just a little bit. That was loose. Yeah, I think this car was an accident before. That has been. Boy, at least somebody was back here. Let's 
come with some new seals. Hit all corners. <laughs> that was totally gay. Gotta take this out first. <clears throat> Try to do this without having to take an air box out. Okay. Let me get something to curve in. Uh, so this is sort of loose. We get that tin down here. This is like the only appropriate time to use a 12.10 millimeter, which I'm wrong. <laughs> it's an eight. I just went and got that other one on the side here. You didn't see. So I got that one on the corner. Comes down here. Should be able to pull this out, right? I think I'm no, I think I'm missing one on the bottom. Yep, there's one on the very bottom. I'm gonna show you that when I get that done. Oh, look at that, look at that. Uh, I might need to take these horns out. Uh, I think it's All right. I don't know if anyone caught that when I uh, matched the condensers up, but I got the wrong one and it was totally my fault. I got it for a 2011 instead of 2012, so that was that was ignorant on my fault. So technically this car is a 2013, totally my fault. Um, so I'm going to run to uh, the hub store, pick up another one, and uh, get that uh, taken care of and finish this job, but you know, I'm, I'm not perfect. Work on a variety of cars and get my years screwed up. So, uh, all right. Got my uh, newer condenser. Uh, this is this is the right one. Uh, that's obvious. <clears throat> so it was totally my fault. I got the wrong one. Gave him the wrong year. Make mistakes. So I'm gonna get these studs in there for the. Uh, low and high pressure side, the uh, transmission coolers have the quick connects already in there, the little the, uh, the clips. So I'll just slide those into place and they'll they'll uh, lock into place like it's supposed to. So. <clears throat> Thank you. 
I'm gonna check the box and see if it came with any new seals. <clears throat> Hello. So I got this. Now I, I just wound up seeing this, and I, I remember she told me to call it an accident a while ago, but yeah. Um, what it is, the radiator's bent. So there were four bolts in there, and I saw, uh, I saw some of the uh, portions where the fastener's supposed to be screwed into uh, removed on that far right side over there. Well, past the driver's side left. So I see why the radiator has the condenser has to sit in the position it does because it's, it's bent. You know, completely understandable. So it is missing one bolt and it is not perfect. So I have to put everything back like it's supposed to. So that issue had to have resolved as or happened as a result of the accident. Uh, for the sake of not damaging these fins here, I just wound up taking that horn out so I can have a little uh, better room because uh, some of them are already smashed from me just grafting it and uh, you don't want to kill the cooling efficiency cooling efficiency or its capability so uh, I'm not going to show all the rest of this stuff because it's basically putting everything in reverse order uh, there was a 10 millimeter for the bumper uh, 8 millimeter and I use a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench to get that horn off uh, other than that, a flathead if you decide to, if you don't have the special tool to get those quick uh, tabs loose. And I am reusing the seals for the AC pressure, high and low, uh, because the seal, the kit didn't come with it, or well, as far as the condenser, that didn't come with it. Uh, they're fine, they're, they're pliable, they're not flattened, so they'll, they'll work perfectly fine. Uh, I'm gonna continue this until we get to the bottom of the transmission to refill the fluid and it takes the ATF4 type fluid. I don't know if I showed, I can't remember, but I'm gonna show it again. This is the fluid I got for the power steering. Uh, and I'm gonna put a, I got a funnel and I'm gonna put some pipe, like a rubber hose that goes directly down and I'm gonna top that fluid off and whatever's full, I'm just gonna suction it out and uh, replace the cap so we can get this power steering working like normal again so like i said the other thing was uh if you have issues with the grinding when turning the wheel it's not like a ball joint or something now these pieces of shit i'm sorry this car is notorious for having suspension issues like the lower forward uh lower control arms because of just they the, i guess the design of it so is if you but you if you feel a grinding like oh, oh, oh and when you turn the wheel on the inside check that fluid uh it could be the problem like i said that joke was thirty dollars for just that quart <sighs> other than that see you shortly right, on the uh, passenger side underneath the car let me clear it up so I need to take the air conditioner off. So I got a T50 to remove the drain. And I'm hoping there shouldn't be any fluid come out because it's been leaking. If I got everything leveled correctly, I'm going to put this off real slow. So yeah, nothing's coming out. I'm going to get my. Uh, Filling device. I got a drill that I can hook up to a pump, and that's what I'm gonna use. Let me turn this air conditioner off. I don't make a mess. I'm not sure if it's catching a glare or anything. I'll try to show you what I'm doing here. So I got my little pump here. I'm a drill. Oh shit! Making a mess. Stuff in the suction side in here and I'm just 
pressurizing the pump. I got to sit in the pail here because it's leaking a little bit. Put the whole quarter in there. drip out now is it we're gonna find out all right I'm gonna pull the pull the plug out see if it's spewing out oh, shit. Uh, just... nope <laughs> this thing was pretty low all right I got it uh so it took all the Three quarts is dripping out now. Oh, Putting everything back up. I got everything knocked out. Um, so I filled the uh, drain plug up. The, well, filled, put it out. Filled the fluid out. So all the uh, fluid came out the drain plug. Port. I can't get my stuff straight. Um, other than that, I'm going to test drive the car. Clear the codes, then trash out a car. All right, everything started coming out. It's getting hot in here, I tell you that. I got, a, I got the field plug back in there. Alright, I got everything taken care of. I feel the uh, transmission up through the drain port until the fluid started coming out. The car was running, it was a neutral. I took three quarts total. I had to fill up the remainder of those three quarts into one bottle and feed it into the transmission. So it worked out perfectly fine. Other than that, I'm gonna drop the car, clear the codes, test drive it, make sure everything's good. Three quarts low. I mean, that's enough for a check in light to come on. I don't, and uh, I, I completely understand why it probably came on. Um, Here's the old condenser slash transmission cooler. It was obvious the car was in an accident when we saw it. Took care of it, no problem. It, the whole job did take a total of like an hour and a half. Uh, it minus me running around and having to get the proper part. Things happen, hey, I'm not perfect. I'll tell you what though, if uh, this car develops an aneurysm, car having to develop, get four legs, transmission blow up I mean hell I mean anything can happen as a result of my repair so I mean the only way to stay informed is to subscribe so keep informed about my repairs be reassured have your confirmation however you decide to perceive it subscribe and uh, catch you on the next one